report breaks down the share of cases by age, and it shows that now more than more 10 to 19 year olds are starting to get sick. That's according to the Lund report. Our Fox 12's Andre Wheels spoke with the author of that report and is taking a closer look at what could be driving these numbers. I spoke to the journalist who crunched the numbers on that report and a PSU biology professor who's always looking at Oregon's case trends. They say it's important to remember that we're still talking about a small number of cases here and there could be many different factors. An analysis by the Lund Report published mid-March illustrates a trend in COVID cases, saying since January, the share of new cases in Oregonians aged 10 to 19 has grown by roughly 50%, while the proportion of those aged 20 to 50 has shrunk. Around February, we noticed that the fraction of cases we were seeing in kids 10 to 19 was increasing. This was taking place at a time when the overall number of cases was falling dramatically. So I don't, I don't think people were really noticing. Journalist Jacob Fenton, who crunched the numbers, said Oregon has done a little bit better in that age range since. He's been gathering the data every day. Since March, I've been running a scraper that collects all of the information on OHA's main COVID page every two hours. Um, and um, uh, what that allows us to do is tell the number of, of cases uh, in each age range over time. Over the entire pandemic, online data from the Oregon Health Authority shows there have been 18,860 cases in that 10 to 19 age range, which is 11% of the state's cases and have accounted for 0.8% of hospitalizations. The numbers are so small, it's really hard to tell. It certainly does look as if they're going up. But there's so much variability in that. I think it's really hard to tell. PSU biology professor Ken Stedman says we don't have enough data yet to know how variants might play into things either. We asked OHA what they're seeing in younger people right now. They pointed out that schools are not the driver of COVID-19 transmission, but that when cases increase in the community, we see more cases who may attend school. What they've found so far is that activities are contributing to those outbreaks. Stedman says without a lot more testing, it's hard to know if there's just more cases being detected in younger people or actually more cases, but that the data in older groups shows good signs for vaccinations. One thing that we do know is that the numbers for older people are definitely going way down. So death rates are way down, hospitalizations are way down, which is awesome. It means the vaccines are working. And so I also really important that we get some of those kids in that age range vaccinated. As far as vaccines for younger ages, right now the FDA has only given emergency use authorization for people 16 and up. Last week, I reported on Pfizer's announcement that based on its clinical trials, its vaccine seems to be highly effective in people aged 12 to 15, so it hopes that soon the FDA will expand the use to that age group. Reporting in Northwest Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.